What's up guys? On today's episode of Cult America, we are going to be checking out the benefits of corruption in Ukraine. Ukraine gets a hard rap. They're known for nuclear disasters, politicians getting poisoned, war, and corruption. On the surface it looks bad, but if you compare Ukraine to my country, the US, things suddenly don't seem as dramatic. Consider the US murder rate, incarceration rate, homelessness, etc. An idealistic Hollywood projection becomes much harder to accept. My point being, I don't really believe that Ukraine is anything worse than where I'm from. Most citizens are decent, hardworking people. Try riding on a public bus. Passengers enter the rear of the bus and will pass their fares to the driver via a chain of strangers. Some people will send 20 hryvn for a 2 hryvn bus fare and their change actually comes back to them. So who are the real thieves in Ukraine? According to most people I spoke with, the government. I wanted to see their crimes with my own eyes, so I headed to the estate of former Ukrainian president Viktor Yanukovych. We started in a suburb of Kiev, where the houses were suspiciously fancy. Despite this being an upscale area, it was actually the first place I felt unsafe in Ukraine. There was this feeling of gloating that only a seriously arrogant criminal could be capable of. We finally reached the house. With world-class landscaping, fountains, a peaceful garden, and a huge security wall. The estate was taken over by Ukrainian's political group, Right Sector, who offered us a tour. There have been many times in my life where I called someone greedy, but the first five seconds in the house gave me a new understanding for the word. This was disgusting. The bastard stole money from struggling people so that he could build a private spa, a gym, a tennis court, a bowling alley, and a boxing ring. The place was littered with exotic taxidermy, and empty frames were stolen paintings once hung. I was so nauseated. We entered the house via a long tunnel connecting the spa complex. Everywhere I looked was pointless garbage worth millions of dollars. A random table worth $60,000, a collection of ancient knight armor, a movie theater, sitting rooms covered in marble and gold. The greed just went on and on and on. Towards the end of the tour, I sat down at the ex-president's desk to reflect on things. What troubled me most was the fact that this estate only had two bedrooms. 
The guy was literally so selfish that he would hurt countless struggling people to reward himself alone. We often suspect world leaders to be evil, but as a human, it hurts to see it in reality. I couldn't help but think that a president stealing from their people is like a parent abusing their child. It's fucking reprehensible. This was the most gluttonous, disgusting place I have ever seen in my entire life. I don't understand corruption, I don't understand gluttony, but what I do understand is the moment that you hit the subscribe button. So do it now. I'm Ryan Sokish, this is Cult America, peace.